what I've, what I've depicted here is uh, what this country may have looked like prior to its accretion, we call it, onto the North American continent. This would have been an island, island arc offshore. You can see the blue representing seawater. And so these are submarine volcanoes. And so when you look at mining areas like Jerome and uh, certain of these massive sulfide districts that we have here in central Arizona, these were born deep underneath ocean water. And largely volcanic rocks that are building, building, building. Finally, they're breaking through the surface. And in time, uh, this will be joined into, by tectonic forces, will be shoved into the North American plate. And so, in the process, what is uh, thin crust and uh, broad crust becomes compressed into the continent. So the same volume of color that you see here is schematically shown after it has collided with the continent. And this is a kind of a collision that is not very rapid. It uh, probably takes many millions of years. But in the process, you've, you've foreshortened the crust. In this case, I've done it foreshortened to half. And you're seeing the individual folds that you see in, in Precambrian rocks all through this part of the world. Doesn't matter if you're in the bottom of the Grand Canyon, Jerome, Prescott, these are very common features. They're tightly folded up just like an accordion. As the crust is raising up to the surface, parts of it are dropped down deep into the Earth's crust to the point where they, the, these rocks become first metamorphosed and then finally they melt. And some of the molten rock is coming up as these granite plutons. And uh, those melts are rising up into the crust, but they don't reach the surface. This is just a schematic showing of a mountain range. It's very diagrammatic. But the idea is that when you have these rocks folded like that, they, they get depressed deep enough to melt, and that you will have a late stage of the mountain building process forming as uh, igneous molten rock. We call it a granite. And you'll see them in places like Prescott. And whenever you see a granite, this is a rock that was emplaced into the Earth's crust at a depth of two to three miles or more. So think of Prescott. Think of all of the rocks that were once above it. That's all eroded away now. Now, these rocks were first formed about one and three quarter billion years ago. And after the, the continental tectonic plate has, has uh, formed the, these mountain ranges, we've, we've now reached a point of about 1,600 million years. And so when you have a mountain range just like the Himalayas or the Alps, they generate weather. And over the next uh, 400, 500 million years, this is eroded away. It doesn't disappear from the planet. It simply gets eroded somewhere else. Just like the Rocky Mountains today are being eroded, it's going into the Missouri and Mississippi rivers, dumped into the Gulf of Mexico. So as, as sediments today are going into the Gulf of Mexico, the reason that the water is flowing there is that that part of the Earth's crust is subsiding. So it's a place where the water will flow to. Water will go downhill toward that, carrying the sediment. So we've ended the, the first cycle of deposition, mountain building, and erosion, and we end up with a fairly flat peanut plain. And if you've been to Western Australia, this might be familiar to you. It's been eroded for billions of years and, and doesn't have anything on top of it. But in the case of, uh, this depicts the Grand Canyon, but as I'll show afterwards, it applies here, Prescott, also to Kansas. Same, same thing. So what you've got is a, is a peanut plain. The land is subsiding again. And you're starting to get a new series of deposition, new, new set of rocks being laid down. And so we speed up the geological process with the aid of our training in kindergarten and uh, second grade. So you start off with the Bass Limestone, which is blue. And if you've ever been uh, to Desert View or Lipan Point on the uh, 
east end of Grand Canyon, that blue unit there would be the uh, Bass Limestone, and above it are uh, uh, sediments that look a lot like the Supai rocks that we have in the Red Rocks of Sedona. But you've got the Dock Sandstone and the Hakatai Shale and, and uh, Shinumo Quartzite and so on. And then I've just shown part of that sequence ending up with a black Cardenas lava. So we've got the the new deposition of of a sequence in the late Precambrian time, starting off about one and a quarter billion years ago and ending about a, a billion years ago. That's a thousand million years ago. And then we have a new type of, of mountain building process, but this time we've got massive crystalline crust underneath us. And the this is a very strong basement now. It has deep roots. And so when we flex the continents by one method or another, some c collision between oceanic plates, we generate a different kind of mountain range. And if you use a little magician's trick here, make a 